the Vampire Queen. So today I'm gonna take my Queen Charlotte cake and I'm going to transform her into the Vampire Queen. This is gonna look sick. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. I posted my Queen Charlotte cake in April and I'm actually shooting this in April, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to start my Halloween content now. I want to reuse this cake and turn her into a vampire queen. I did all of this work to create this nice updo, all of these luscious curls. She's got really nice sculpting on her face. So instead of just throwing this away, which is what I was going to do. I'm gonna transform her into a bomb Halloween cake. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was outline all of the changes I wanted to make so that I knew where I wanted to carve all these details. Then I started to carve. I knew I wanted her eyes bigger, so I took out a lot of buttercream there. I thinned out her nose and then I carved out some of her cheeks so that she looked a little bit hungry. <laughs> or thirsty. Thirsty for blood. I want her mouth to be open so that we can see those fangs. So this is my cake so far. Oh my gosh, she's looking cute, right? Like so cute. <laughs> now I've been working on this cake for about two hours. The buttercream's starting to get soft, so I'm gonna put it in the fridge to set up. Actually, you know what? Let me take off all of this first. Then I'll put it in the fridge. Now I don't think I'm gonna be doing much with her hair, but her face is gonna look completely different. I've got two cakes that I'm gonna try and finish this week. So this mini Halloween project in the middle of April has to be done by tomorrow, maybe the next day. So into the fridge, then I'm gonna take it out and start to work on it again. Now, after I took it out of the fridge, I started to blend her skin into her hair. <laughs> I just thought it looked so cute. Then I started to work on her mouth, just giving her some vampire fangs. I know that I'm working on her mouth, but all I can look at is her eyes. <laughs> they look so funny. <laughs> like this grumpy old lady yelling at people in a grocery store. After that, I gave her a tongue and then blacked out her eyes with some black food coloring. I used a lot of white luster dust to try and lighten up her skin. She looks like a vampire Karen, huh? <laughs> I gave her dark circles so that she looks like she just woke up from a hangover. Then I started to color her mouth in with a little bit of magic sauce and some food coloring so it looked more realistic. And then she has this like maroon lip color going on. And then eyeliner and eyelashes. Once I was finished with her face, it was time to start applying the queen's jewelry. I thought it'd be cool if there was like an ornament in the middle and I just added this like black pearl rope to hold it together. And then I added this really nice crown that just lives on the front of her updo. Oh my gosh, it looks spectacular. More rope on the front. After that, I added a vampire red pendant and voila, my vampire queen was complete. What do you think? Do you like it? Oh gosh, if I saw this in public, oh, my pants would be dirty, they'd be soiled. I'd be so scared. Can you believe that this used to be Queen Charlotte? It's kind of insane, the transformation is so cool. Now, I did change this last minute. I wanted the ornament to be a little bit bigger. I wanted the crown to be bigger as well so that it looked more regal. I used blue luster dust and black food coloring just to add a little more dimension. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, look at you, look at you. Now I am shooting this in April, but I am gonna be working on a ton of head sculpts from now until October. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how many of them I was able to transform into like Halloween type characters. Now, which one do you like better? Do you like the Queen Charlotte cake or do you like this Queen of the Damned? You should be in a horror movie. <laughs> now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what cake you'd like to see me make next and I'll see you very soon. Bye.